It's a hashtag hired minisode, real bite-sized success stories from real Vertforce family members. I'm your host, Kimber Hill. Today, my hashtag hired tip for you is to please go listen to these episodes of my podcast. Number one, number two, number 98, number 100, number 102, and number 104. These are all a part of a series called Certs that get you hashtag hired. So my tip is that you go add a quick and easy certification that you can get in under 24 hours or a certification that may may take you a few months to acquire. This is going to help you stand out above other candidates that you're applying against. And it's also going to help you increase your salary performance. My guest today, my success story today, actually took this advice. I'm talking today with Teresa George. Teresa was inspired to learn a new skill set after she listened to episodes one and two of my podcast that are about Salesforce. In that episode, we met with Salesforce veteran David Nava, and he discussed how easy and fun it is to learn this cloud-based customer relationship management software. And it's a hot job right now. Over the past year, Salesforce admin jobs have grown 34% and the average pay for a Salesforce admin has grown to more than $88,000. So tune in and hear Teresa's journey from podcast listener to full-time remote Salesforce consultant. Virtual employment is here to stay. I'm military spouse, Vertforce founder, and your remote work expert, Kimber Hill. Subscribe now to learn how you too can thrive in the virtual workforce. I found out about Vertforce through a fellow military spouse. Vertforce helps me because it was really a source of inspiration and connection for me during my job search. I was often inspired by stories of other spouses finding fulfilling remote work, and that really helped fuel my desire to stay the course and find the right job for me. They also introduced me to Salesforce, which is the software site, software that I use on a daily basis now. Um, Kimber interviewed a military vet, David Nava, about his Salesforce journey on the Vertforce podcast. And he just talked about how amazing the Salesforce community is and how easy and fun it can be to learn and to use the software. And shortly after listening to that interview, I created my own Trailhead account and started earning badges for completing training modules and projects. And that podcast episode is really what stands out in my mind as the first step to my Salesforce journey. I did listen to a lot of the podcast episodes on those topics and was really grateful for all the awesome tips and tricks. So my new job title, I have a couple answers to that. It depends on who asks. I would say it's either a senior consultant or a Salesforce consultant or Salesforce administrator. I'm currently working for Capgemini Government Solutions or CGS for short. We work with US civilian and defense agencies to deliver innovative quality products to our clients so they can focus on their values and missions. And more specifically, I help our clients implement Salesforce, which is a cloud-based customer relationship management or CRM software. I love my job and I am so grateful to my husband for his patience as I figured out what I wanted to do and where I wanted to work. I'm working full-time Monday through Friday and I do get federal holidays off, which is really great as a military spouse. You get the same holidays as your spouse. Um, CGS is CONUS since our clients are U.S. government agencies, but Capgemini, our parent company, is headquartered in Paris and we have clients all over the world. I'm very happy in my new role. I love helping our clients solve real world problems and really just helping make their lives easier, their organizations more efficient, and their data more organized. And another aspect that I enjoy is that I am constantly learning new things. There's always something more or something new to learn with Salesforce. And that really fits with my personality. I I was one of those people who loved school growing up. (laughs) Future plans within my current role. I'm honestly still working on my long-term goals for this role. Uh, Part of me still doesn't quite believe that I found such a great remote work opportunity and that I don't have to worry about starting over if another PCS pops up. Um, So I'm still thinking through that long term, but I definitely plan on getting more Salesforce certifications and hopefully mentoring some fellow military spouses at CGS. 
So I thought about virtual work for years, probably ever since my husband proposed in 2016 and we knew he was going to join the military. And with each move, the desire to find remote work grew, but I didn't really commit to the remote work search until the beginning of last year. I was at a point where I knew my current job could not move and grow with me. And I dreaded the thought of having to search for a new job with every move. <laughs> I had been casually looking around and hearing great things from friends and family and the Vertforce podcast about Salesforce. So I decided to give it a real shot and I completed a trail mix on Trailhead and earned a free class voucher. I took the week long class, scheduled my exam and got admin certified in July of 2020. And that same week I earned my certification and learned about the Hiring Our Heroes Salesforce Fellowship, which was the perfect next step. I had already I already had experience in database administration and a degree in man the management of information systems, but I knew I needed real world experience specifically in the Salesforce ecosystem to stand out to employers. So I applied, applied for the fellowship, got matched to CGS and started working for them as a fellow in September of that year. Some advice I would give to someone still looking is I would encourage them to stay optimistic. Don't lose hope. It may not seem like it at times, but there really are great companies out there like CGS and Salesforce that value military spouses and recognize the unique challenges that we face. And now more than ever, com companies are open to remote work. So take advantage of one of the few opportunities that this pandemic has given us. And as for Salesforce specific advice, I have a few things to mention. Um, you can check out the Salesforce military website, veterans.force.com. That'll direct you to Trailhead Military where you can start learning and earning badges and certifications for free. So, um, some of the exams are $200 a piece and some of the classes are $900 plus. So that's a really great resource there that you can get for free. And there's also the Salesforce Military Alliance, which exists to bridge the gap between employers and career seekers in the Salesforce ecosystem. And then there's the Hiring Our Heroes Salesforce Fellowship program that I mentioned. That's a three month paid fellowship designed specifically again to provide military spouses and veterans with real world Salesforce experience. And then there's a, a bunch of other ways to get experience in Salesforce. Like you can volunteer at nonprofits that use Salesforce. And then there's also I, during my fellowship, I learned about an app, the Ombudsman Cloud Care app, which is an app for Navy Ombudsman volunteers to create, tra create, track, and resolve report cases. And you can also, if you want to get experience with that, maybe you could adapt it. Say you're not Navy, maybe you're Air Force key spouse. You could volunteer to help set that up for your squadron. And that would be a great way to get experience. Teresa, I'm thrilled to hear that one of my very first episodes of the Vertforce podcast inspired you. Career certs are a great way to pivot and completely change the trajectory of your career. By learning this new skill, you now have a job that will PCS with you everywhere. Congratulations first on landing that super competitive Hiring Our Heroes uh, fellowship. And then a double congratulations for it turning into a full remote time opportunity with such a great company. Thank you for your willingness to give back. And if you're looking for a few military spouses to mentor, I know where you can find some.